Are you looking for a steady stream of dividend income? As 2024 is coming to an end soon, most companies have already declared their total dividend for the year and it is the perfect time to review which stock in your portfolio is giving out the best yield and if you should be still holding on it. In this video, I will share with you my favorite dividend stocks in Singapore. Of course, they are the three largest banks in Singapore by market capitalization, DBS, UOB and OCBC. Stick around to see how they compare to each other and why I like them. Before that, let's discuss how to select a good dividend stock. Personally, I will always go to blue chips because of their reliability and stability. So in Singapore, banks are well known for their financial stability and consistent dividend income. Dividend yield is one thing, there are more to it. First, I will always look for consistent dividend yield. So in Singapore, because of the treasury rate is already around 3%, it is best to look at company that is able to give out about 4% dividend yield. So you can check this in the news or in the public financial report or in the website like dividend.sg. I will put the link in the description below for your reference. Second is the payout ratio. A high payout ratio is not sustainable, so we will always look for dividend payout ratio below 60%. And thirdly, is the financial health of the company itself. So this is important to check uh, if the company is profitable and having sufficient liquidity. Uh, in the bank context, there are a few more uh, important metrics, including the capital adequacy ratio, their profitability in the form of net interest margin, their non-performing assets, and of course the liquidity. So luckily, impressively, all the three banks in Singapore are having a very good capital adequacy ratio of about 15% compared to the regulatory requirement of only 6.5%. So they are already financially well adequate to absorb any loss in case. And lastly, it is the growth potential other than you. So this is in the form of capital appreciation. If the stock price increase, you will also gain from that. So these are the four basic criteria. Now let's take a look at the banks themselves in 2024, how that performs. So in terms of dividend yield, DBS has announced a total of about 5.1% dividend yield in 2024. This is slightly lower compared to the previous year in 2023, but DBS has been giving out dividend uh, consistently and UOB has given out a total about 4.75% uh, dividend yield, while OCBC has given the highest dividend yield of 5.2%. So in this dividend yield, OCBC stand out. Next, in terms of payout ratio, so this can be calculated by using the dividend per share over the earning per shares. All the three banks have sustainable payout ratio. In terms of financial health, as mentioned, all the three banks are having a good capital adequacy ratio, sufficient capital buffer of over 15%. They are all profitable. In terms of net interest margin, DBS stands out to have the highest at 2.8%. In terms of non-performing assets, OCBC has the lowest non-performing asset as only 0.9%. But as we compare across, all three of them are having a less than 2% non-performing assets, which are considered very good in the banking sector. Lastly, we look at the growth potential. Not surprisingly, DBS has the highest capital appreciation this year. By far, has appreciated by over 40% as of November. So of course, this is not always the case compared to the past few years. If you compare to the other two banks, uh, UOB and OCBC, they are having the similar growth rate, capital appreciation uh, at about 27% by far. So one thing that DBS stand out is they have also uh, this share buybacks program. They have just announced a 3 billion share buyback program. This is a positive news to investors because this can control the total outstanding shares in the market and able to maintain a good earning per share and meaning this will boost the share price in the future. While OCBC and UOB, uh, they do not have such share buyback program. So this is one of the uh, strength that DBS have um, to control and 
maintain the share value, share price value to the shareholders. So, if we compare across, uh, this year OCBC stand out to have the highest dividend yield, while DBS stand out to have the highest capital appreciation. But these are the performance in 2024. In terms of future outlooks, highly likely that DBS has the strategy to maintain its share price uh, for the shareholders. But for consistent dividend income, all the three banks have demonstrated a positive trend on giving out consistent dividend income uh, even during tough times like COVID. So I personally hold all these three bank stocks for a mix of growth and stability. These three banks are very resilient uh, during tough time, and the capital appreciation is definitely a bonus to the shareholder this year. Uh, giving the positive market sentiment. Moving forward, uh, as the Federal Reserve has just announced two rate cuts this year so far, the effect on the profitability of the banks have yet to see any impact. And with the new administration under the President Donald Trump, it is expected the rate will be maintained at a high rate for a certain period of time. But this is unknown and nobody will know uh, when is the next rate cut. But given the positive market sentiment, um, banking stock is always the one that is uh, most resilient and able to give consistent income, uh, especially in Singapore. So please comment below which one of the stock is your favorite. Um, I personally like three of them. Um, don't forget to give this video a like, share it and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.